What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I just want to come on here and do a quick video of, you know, some things to put in an urban EDC. And I've been seeing a lot of videos about people doing urban EDCs. And, uh, you know, I understand that everybody's going to carry different stuff because it's kind of person-specific. But if you're, uh, you know, in a city that's basically what urban is there's a lot of things you're not going to need usually like you're not going to need something with a saw on it you're not going to need you know fire starting ability um other than a lighter uh i just feel like a lot of people when they make urban edc kits they kind of make them for the woods and for you know urban i get it it's a survival thing but if it's urban it's got to be urban you know what i'm saying you're pounding the concrete you're in the city you're going to about your daily business you're going from home to work you know you're not going out in the woods and cutting down trees you're not going to need a saw this is how it is um so i want to come on here and uh show basically what i have for an urban edc um and again like i said everybody's different i understand that everybody has a different carry uh and they different things that they want to carry so you got to take that into consideration as well um i live in a city it's not a big city about forty-two thousand people uh, but I'm on the edge of it, so if I go, you know, 10 minutes in either direction, I'm actually in the woods. So I could technically add extra stuff to it. I just pretty much keep it as urban as possible because that's what this is about, right? So let's get into it. So there's a number of things uh, that you should carry on you. I've, I mean, I've taught classes on prepping, and basically what EDC is, it's a subculture of prepping and survival. Um, what you have on your person is tier one prep. Um, it's basically what you have on your body. So that's what I'm talking about right here. Uh, I'm not including, you know, EDC bag gear that I carry or anything like that. Yeah, so this doesn't include anything that I have in a tier two prep, which would be, would be an EDC bag. This is strictly tier one EDC for an urban environment. So what should you have with you? Obviously, you got to have your wallet, right? Because everybody needs your identification, your driver's license, your money, your debit cards, your credit cards, and things like that. Um, this is the House of Jack Slim Card Wallet that I'm carrying, but this is something that you should have in an urban environment uh, so you can get around uh, and buy stuff and, you know, whatever. Whatever you got to do. Obviously, you need your ID, have identification, you need your license in case you get stopped for something, you need money to buy stuff. So a wallet with all your uh, stuff in it is something that you should definitely have. Uh, now, another thing you should have, flashlight, right? I just happen to have the Trustfire MC3. I'm a Trustfire affiliate. My discount code is in the about section. So if you decide to buy something from Trustfire, whether it be on Amazon or whether it be on their website, definitely use that to get 10% off. So everybody's got different flashlights. I mean, you could carry a smaller flashlight than this. I've just been carrying this around to test it out. Um, it depends on what you're doing. I mean, this is a 2500 max lumen flashlight. Do I need 2500 lumen max lumen flashlight in an urban environment? Probably not. Right, I could do something smaller. This does have different modes. Uh, it has a moonlight mode, which is at about three lumens, and then a middle mode or a medium, which is 160, and that's pretty much where I leave it most of the time is at 160. Um, a high mode of 700, and then their uh, extreme bright, they call it, uh, would be 2500. So definitely uh, carry a light with you. I carry a light with a bigger battery, so I have better run times. This is a 21700. And everything that I have on here is, is running for, like, you know, ridiculous amounts of time. I think uh, the uh, Extreme Bright 2500 lumens will run for, like, an hour and 48 minutes or something ridiculous. Um, so 3.9 uh, hours on high at 700. You know, so just try to get something with uh, decent um, run times as well as this has a tail stand and it is magnetic. So you could use that as well. So you just got to consider what you're going to need and... Uh, just use that. I mean, you could get a Rovivon A7X for that matter. It's got a 700 max lumens and it runs for three hours, so that's pretty good as well. Lithium ion rechargeable, definitely decent. Um, then I would say your knife. So, what are you going to carry around for a knife? Well, I've been carrying around the Para 3 uh, Lightweight Spider Co. Um, you know, I don't know. Some people say it's tactical, it looks tactical. It doesn't really look tactical to me, but, uh, you know, that's. Uh, an opinion type thing. I've been around knives a long time, so it doesn't look tactical to me. Maybe somebody else, it might. So you want to try to get something that's not going to scare people, obviously. You don't want to be walking around with some gigantic knife, you know, whip it out to open up a, you know, box of crackers and you got an eight inch knife or a 10 inch butcher knife. It's just not necessary and it doesn't fit into the urban environment. You need to carry something that's kind of, you know, smaller, 
I'd say, you know, seven inch, around seven inch, seven and a quarter, 6.75. You know, it's something that's not going to scare anybody. I'm not sure if this is going to scare anybody. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just, I just got it and I'm testing it out. But to me, it's very minimal in appearance because it's, you know, muted colors, black and uh, satin, but it's more of a stone wash to me than it is a satin. So you got to carry something that's not going to, you know, scare the crap out of people, basically. So again, if that's something that looks too tactical, um, you might want to get something like this, which is the James brand Folsom, which is definitely not tactical looking whatsoever, but it's still about the same size as that. And it's very efficient, drop point blade, really good for cutting stuff. Uh, again, food prep, you go to a restaurant, they give you a crap knife, boom, you got one on you, you can use your own knife. So you definitely want to have something that's not, like I say, it's going to scare people, something that's not ridiculously large. Um, this is not a gray man carry. This is an urban environment carry. Um, so, you know, it's not necessarily it has to be muted colors or anything like that or stuff that's not going to stand out. But that's kind of a, a theme with me anyway. So I try to carry stuff that doesn't stand out, stuff that's not huge and draws attention for the urban carry. It's really good. I mean, for that matter, you carry something like this, which isn't going to scare anybody. It's a donut knife. I mean, but it's a super tinker sent over to me by Conan ZDC. And Super Tinker's awesome. It's tons of tools. Really useful in an urban environment, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you got your screwdriver. You got your can opener and your other screwdriver. I mean, you got a knife. You got another knife. You got scissors, which are probably some of the most useful stuff on here. So if you really don't feel like pulling out a knife, you know what I mean? You could just pull out the scissors. Um, so um, you can carry something like this even. And that's definitely not going to scare anybody. So, Or I'm, I've been carrying the SE Chirp. This is just uh, another just basically a small knife uh, that you carry in your pocket um, and there you go uh, that's not going to scare anybody either because that's some pretty muted colors right there so usually what I do is I'll carry a main knife and then I'll carry a backup like one of these or a slip joint or something so that way if something happens to your main blade you do at least have something else on you as well and if you don't want to pull out your main blade you got something smaller and less you know noticeable you could pull that out instead if you feel that people are going to be scary now something else I like to carry is a hank um this is a gondak edc hank and this is a i believe seven by seven hank and uh it's a decent size use it to clean off your knives or pretty much anything i mean cut yourself you could technically use it um for you know stopping bleeding or other things like that cleaning up spills or whatever it's a handkerchief i happen to like these you know a lot because it folds up from a 7.7 .7 to really small to like you know, a 4x4 four four or 3x3, three three, and that fits right in your pocket. You don't even know you got it. Again, going with the, you know, stuff that's not noticeable. You're not carrying around giant things or very flashy things or, or things like that. But, again, this isn't a gray man carry. This is a uh, urban EDC carry. Um, and then, which is definitely not at all uh, understated, is a pouch. It's a carry pouch. This is the Blaze Orange VX25 alpaca pouch. And, uh, you know, you should have some stuff in it that you think you could use. Um, I always carry a Victorinox um, recruit, so I have another knife. So technically, I would have three knives on me. Um, I carry a backup flashlight that's actually a um, triple A. So I have a, a, you know, the main one, which is rechargeable, backup one in case uh, I need one instantly. And this one runs out of juice. Boom, I got one with a triple A. I can just flip the battery around and uh, use it. So what I do is I put the battery in, but I put the battery in backwards so it doesn't slowly drain it. So then when I need to use it, I can just, you know, take the battery out. Oh, this one's not backwards, actually. I thought this one was backwards, my bad. I usually do it like that um, and do this and just tighten it down and I don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's weird that I wasn't like that. I must have never checked it. So, um, and then I always carry basically a little pad of paper, um, a pen, and I have some medications back here, and I have a lighter. So this is just a little uh, peanut lighter um, that I have with me um, in case I need do need to, you know, somebody needs a lighter or something like that. I don't smoke or anything, but I have some uh, medications that could come and help uh, in handy. I have uh, motion sickness, uh, Benadryl in case somebody has an anaphylactic reaction. I have um, Advil and uh, Tylenol as well. So, and then I always carry, when I always advise people to carry in an urban EDC, some form of uh, first aid. And basically, this isn't a trauma kit, it's a boo-boo kit. Got some uh, Band-Aids in there, um, some wet wipes. Again, some more Benadryl, uh, some alcohol pads. I have a dude wipe in there. Um, just basically dude wipes or just baby wipes, really. Um, and then I have some uh, antibiotic cream. So, that's just some of the things that I put in my pouch and that I advise people to always carry some kind of first aid, even if it's not a lot. At least you got that on you. Um, so 
those are just a few of the things that I carry. Also, sometimes today I actually have a marker on me because I was mailing stuff. So, you know, this is something you could carry. This is a Milwaukee uh, marker, and um, it's a permanent marker. This is a really good marker, actually. Um, it writes on uh, sawdust, supposedly. It's more of a construction thing. You can clip it to the brim of your hat. And uh, these are pretty good. Um, a from EDC question mark, or EDCQ now. EDCQ actually uh, turned me on to these. So these are good. Like a two-pack is like two bucks or something like that. So they're not expensive at all. So super cool markers. Um, so you might want to carry one of those around too if you have to mail stuff or whatever. You might need a marker. Um, so those are some of the things that I have uh, on me and some of the things that I would put and advise people to put in an urban EDC. Definitely, definitely put a knife in there. Uh, definitely put your flashlight in there. Uh, definitely, you know, a Hank and uh, got to carry your wallet because, you know, you're going to need it for identification purposes and other things. And uh, always carry some kind of a backup knife to a back. I actually carry more than one backup knife. So I have a backup to a backup to a backup. So whatever. But um, so there you go. That's what I would basically put in an urban EDC, truly urban. Um, again, this is not a gray man carry. Uh, a lot of the stuff I do carry is muted colors just simply because I'm a minimalist, but obviously this is not. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So um, it all depends on what you feel. But I definitely would say try to carry a knife that's not very tactical looking, that's uh, not going to scare people, stuff like that. Um, because, you know, you're going to be around people. It's an urban environment, lots of people. So uh, you guys have a good one.